Welcome back to Viking Basketball with head coach Barrett Peary as the Portland State Vikings are home for a three-game homestand starting this Saturday night. They play the Eastern Washington Eagles 7 p.m. right here in the Viking Pavilion. Monday they have Idaho also right here at 7 p.m. and then next Thursday Montana State 7 p.m. start here at the Pavilion and coach you may not believe this three games in a row at home this is your longest homestand of the season. I like the sounds of it. You know, I was reading one of your press releases yesterday when we got back from Colorado, and it remi you reminded me that we'd only had, uh, what, nine home games out of 25. So I like the sounds of what you just uh, spread out there, and it's good to be home. It's great to have the Vikings home. They come off a tremendous victory at Northern Colorado, sweep the Northern Colorado Bears this year, and that's a very good program. And perhaps the most remarkable part of that is they come off let's say maybe the bottom three performance of the season at Southern Utah, and you probably have a top three performance at Northern Colorado. What a turnaround for your team. What made the difference? What, what turned things around? Somewhere on that flight between Cedar City and, uh, or how, how do you get from Cedar City to Greeley? First, first of all, it was a bus ride from Cedar City to St. George, then a flight from St. George to Denver, and a bus ride from Denver to Greeley, all on the off day. But, uh, I think you were being too kind. I thought that was probably our worst performance in three years. And I was really, really proud of our guys of how they bounced back. You know, this league is so crazy right now. Northern Colorado had just beaten Southern Utah. We go into Southern Utah, get beat up by them, and then we go beat, Nor beat Northern Colorado. With that said, you know, we've had some good wins the last three years. We've beaten some Pac-12, some, some WAC, some Mountain West, some WCCs, on the road even. Um, I thought that was one of our best wins simply because of the circumstances we were in. Saturday night we get beat up and then we got to go play quickly right away on the road again and we really needed to show who we were and what we're all about. And honestly those were the conversations that we were having. It's like who are you going to be? You know, um, as, after I came back down to earth a little bit from how I felt on Saturday, on Sunday, you know, I'm flipping through the channels on college basketball and I'm seeing number 25 Wichita State get beat by 40 at Houston and they were two for 26 from three. So I, try, I had to remind myself it does happen, but you know, you know, we, we just couldn't score. We, we were running in mud. We, we didn't play well. It looked like that break really worked against us and we had no timing. We had no chemistry or continuity on anything and uh, I was just begging for him to run the clock and get us out of there on Saturday afternoon. Well, the Vikings definitely turned around at Northern Colorado. They go there, they win convincingly, leading by 21 points in the second half. Uh, really kind of cruised to the win down the stretch. The Vikings shoot 57% from the field, best shooting of the season, 90% at the line. And I bring those numbers up, maybe most importantly, because we're going to play the top offensive team in the big sky this Saturday night in Eastern Washington. The Eagles lead the league in scoring. Portland State number two in scoring, so potentially a lot of fireworks here Saturday. Yeah, both teams really want to get up and down. Both teams have the courage to run and shoot and get the ball in the rim quickly. You know, Eastern's having a great year. We had a we had a knockdown drag out with them over there last time, and you know we had the ball with the chance to to win the game late in the game. Um, got some good looks, but every night every night's going to be tough. You know, it's funny you brought those numbers up. For the difference between Saturday and Monday for us and the shooting percentages. Um, you know, you really have to stay within who you are and what you want to do. You know, Northern Colorado on Monday night, they were not going to give us shots at the three. They don't give up threes, period. They don't, they don't do it. They're one of the best in the country at it. So our guys did a good job of playing through the paint. Our three big kids, Sal, Rashad, and Zoe, all played great and finished around the rim. And then we made free throws, like you said. But, you know, Saturday will be a whole new game where we'll get up and down with them. They have the courage to run and shoot with us, I think. And so we need to control tempo as best we can, try to make it fast. And, and uh, they do a great job. They know, they know their identity really well. They know who should be shooting the ball. they got really good players. And it'll be interesting. The Vikings dominant inside in that win at Northern Colorado. And when we look at Eastern Washington, normally, Coach, we talk about the great guards in this league, particularly point guards. Eastern Washington has a real strong inside game with Mason Peetling in there, Kim Aiken Jr., mm -hmm. Jacob Davidson, kind of a perimeter player. But they have some bigs that can really play, so it could be a real interesting matchup inside. Yeah, all three of those guys, they're three, four, and five, have all had 20-plus point games, maybe 30. A uh, couple of those guys have been player of the week in the league. They, they have a lot of firepower. And again, like I said, they know who they are. They know who should be getting shots and where their bread is buttered and how they should play. You know, coach, coach does a really good job with them. They have a good identity. 
And the Vikings uh, finally back to full health. And you, you probably can't say Matt Hauser is completely healthy, but he's healthy enough to play. Got his first start the other night. Uh, a little slow coming back, but you had him in there at the end. Made a lot, some free throws down the stretch. Probably great to have him in there. And really, you got a, a full complement of players for the first time in a while. First time in a while. You know, we went through those stretches where we lost Sal for a month. We lost Matt for a month. We lost Zoe for four games. We lost uh, Lamar a few times. So it felt, you know, Monday night was nice that way too. It felt like we could really get back to our normal rotations and play the guys where we wanted to play them and not have to be gimmicky, you know, and do things that we, did, we hadn't practiced or didn't want to do. You know, speaking of Matt, like you did, you know, it was good to have him out there. One of the biggest things with Matt is, as you saw, you know, he helps us keep Boo Boo fresh as well. You know, he takes some pressure off of Boo Boo. We had a stretch in the second half where we, we were able to rest Boo Boo for like five or six minutes, which hasn't happened in a long, long time. And then you see him be able to be really fresh and handle the ball and be sharp at the end of a game. All right, and then as we look uh, real briefly at the other two home games coming up, Idaho, the Vikings uh, lost early in conference play at Idaho. The Vandals near the bottom of the conference, I'm sure that's a game you guys want to get back here on Monday night. Uh, the challenges they present, Trayvon Allen, the leader of that team. Uh, tell us a little, a little bit about the Vandals. Trayvon Allen, very good scoring guard, as good as anybody. You know, I, it seems like every, every team's got one of those guards that can really go off, and he's one of those guys. They also do a good job with their identity. You know, they'll throw, in the ball, throw the ball in the post. They have good post play, big guys. They rebound the ball. They try to control the pace. You know, they're a team probably more than anybody else that doesn't want to play our pace. And so we, we really need to force our way on them. And then finally, one of the great players in the Big Sky, Harold Frey at Montana State. The Vikings came out with a exciting, thrilling win there uh, uh, last month when uh, Boo Boo hit a shot in the lane in the closing seconds. But what a great battle between Boo Boo and Harold Frey. Montana State comes in here uh, wanting to avenge that one-point loss at home. Yeah, it was a great game. It was one of those games where the team that had the ball last was probably going to win, and that's what happened. But... Yeah, Frey's been a nightmare for everybody in this league for his entire career. You've seen him a ton, and, you know, he makes shots a lot of different ways. He's really improved, too, on his, his range and his understanding of where he gets his shots. You know, he lost his running mate that he had for a couple of years, and so uh, even with the bullseye being directly on him, he's still getting, getting opportunities to score and find ways to score a lot. All right, the Vikings at home, three in a row. It's going to be an exciting month of February, five of the last seven home games Five of the last seven games at home, I should say, uh, for the Vikings. Come on out on Saturday night, Eastern Washington Eagles, right here in the Viking Pavilion. Get all your information on Vikings basketball at govikes.com.